and welcome to Montmart TV. A lot of people ask me about different artists and their techniques. So today we're going to be painting magical Uluru in Van Gogh's famous impressionistic style. We'll be using similar materials to he did and the same techniques. Regarding canvases, Van Gogh loved the smooth weave. The smooth type of canvas would hold his fine strokes very well. In the day they were used mainly by portraiture, but he loved them. We'll be using a 40 by 50 centimeter canvas panel, and this is about the finest weave that I've seen. Most of Van Gogh's paintings were about 25 to 34 centimeters, apart from Peach Tree in Blossom, which was 65 by 81 centimeters, a huge painting for him. When it comes to paint, Van Gogh would have used oil paint. He painted from 1880 until 1890, and acrylic paints were not invented until 1945. But due to the quality of current acrylic paints and their positive attributes, that's the medium we'll be using today. The viscosity of the Dimension acrylic paint range is the same as working thinned oil paint. And being the innovative artistic pioneer that Van Gogh was, I would be as bold as to say, if he was around today, he definitely would experiment with this medium. You see, Van Gogh didn't do a lot of colour blending. He laid his colours down in spot form, a technique he got from his interest in Japanese art prints. Regarding brushes, Van Gogh preferred filberts. With this versatile brush, he could get a broad line to a fine line very important for his style of paint application. He would have used hog bristle, favoured for their ability to move around thick oil paint. But as we're using acrylics, the filament of choice is Taclon. The last two important additions are a traditional wood palette and our brush washer. So let's lay our paint out and paint our background in. So the colours I've laid out are zinc white, Lemon yellow, yellow ochre, very dan, monostrel green, red ochre, ultramarine, blue, and cyan. So the first step we've got to do is lay our horizon line in. So do this using an ultramarine blue on the lower third of the canvas. And then, then we move to our 24 Taclon and lay in a bit of ultramarine on the top, then we're going to do a blend down to cyan. I'm just laying in the cyan now. And I'm going to bring that up to the ultramarine. A little bit of a misconception too while I'm doing this. A lot of people think because Van Gogh was a post-impressionist that he did everything in one sitting without underpainting. It's not exactly true. We know from a, for a fact that a lot of his paintings have been underpainted. I'm just lightening the cyan now with a little bit of white. And I'm going to bring that tone down. Just flip my canvas and I'm blending in a light blue from two parts white to one part cyan. Just keep blending in until you are happy with the transition. So for the top we use yellow ochre. Again use your 24 filbert for this. So just roughly clean your brush off with a rag. You don't always need to wash it in between every colour change. And then we add in a little bit of red ochre. And incidentally, red ochre and yellow ochre were two colours that Van Gogh used for years in his early career and later as well. Try and get your transition as smooth as possible.
that's nice and dry. Now let's sketch in Uluru. Now because Van Gogh very rarely used black, we will mix up a nice dark colour to sketch in Uluru with a little bit of red ochre, a little bit of ultramarine and a little bit of veridan. The mix isn't too important, just as long as it's fairly dark. Use your size 2 filbert for this. Paint up to the outline. The outline was sketched in and this is another thing that Van Gogh loved to do. These bold lines around essential elements in his compositions. So I'm painting this in with pure red ochre. <clears throat> now for the fun part, laying in the dashes of colour. And this is Van Gogh's signature technique. So what we want to do is we want to start with yellow and we want to follow the sun's form in a circular fashion. Keep working your way outwards from the sun, decreasing the amount of strokes as you go. Add ochre and blue sporadically as well. Now let's work on Uluru. I'm laying in yellow ochre here, moving to red ochre. Remember to follow form with the strokes of colour. I do the same with light to dark blue. Remember, this side will be in light and this side will be in shadow. So I'm darkening my colours as I move over Uluru. Now lay in the lightest highlight colours. Van Gogh exaggerated colour reflections to get his point across. After the lemon yellow, add in some monostrel green. For the foreground, lay in your monostrel green along the horizon. Work your way down with yellow ochre and then cyan, placing dashes of colour randomly over the foreground. And with that, our Van Gogh inspired masterpiece is complete. I hope you enjoyed this project and can see the limitless possibilities you can achieve from gaining inspiration from a master. Until next time, keep on painting.